we need remainder with 3 p square of an even number so if it is say 2 square the remainder would be 1 if it is 6 square of course the remainder would be 0 if it is if the even number happens to be a multiple of 3 then the remainder is always going to be 0 there are multiple answers possible so statement 1 is not sufficient statement 2 says p is not a multiple of 3 not a multiple of 3 but it can be something like 4 where the remainder is 1 it can be something like 5 where remainder is 2 again multiple answers are possible so not sufficient now let's combine when combining we know p is not a multiple of 3 so such cases can be eliminated so see the numbers possible are 2 square and 4 square basically 3k integers which are of 3k plus 1 square form and integers which are of 3k plus 2 square form okay so in this case see the number is 4 the remainder is 1 the number is 16 the remainder is 1 you will find that it will always be 1 6 is not a possibility 8 square will be again of this type so 8 square would be 64 64 the remainder would again be 1 10 square 100 the remainder would again be 1 so the remainder after satisfying these two conditions the remainder is always going to be 1 together it works we get 1 as a unique answer we use both the statements the answer is option c